side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calorie. Enjoy everything. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He's out to the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Feeds it to the back. He gets hit out of bounds around the 36-yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Has time. Fires out to his receiver. And down he goes around the 42-yard line. Complete for six yards, and that's good for a first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. He's taken down at the 49. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. One play, and he'll lose yards. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. to that quickly. And they make the stop at the 43-yard line. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Change of quarterback, Kirby. you got to wonder what that's going to do to the team morale. It is next man up. They've got to be ready to trust this guy. That'll make it second and inches. inches. Five-wide set. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Quick throw. And he's taken down at the eight-yard line. Here's the 11th play of the drive. He gets out to about the six yard line. They're at the six. Second down. There's a play fake. Fires off play action. Touchdown! That was a 
was a well drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can think the play calling there. Very impressive. Once he gets those jets on, there wasn't going to be anything that could stop it. And he hits the PAT. A 12 play, 72 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 7 0. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Panthers and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. I'm sure we're going to see it again today. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Mike Moore, Mike Moore. Gets out to around the 45. Makes his way to about the 45. That's good for From the 45 yard line. First down. Nice run there. to get it down to the 35. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. But somehow, he was able to throw the ball away. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. A long ways yet to go, but at the end of one, the Panthers with a touchdown lead. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He's out to the 30. Gets out to around the 38. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. He's at midfield. Tackle at about the 45. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. And he hits him hard at the 33. A decent pickup on the pass play. And I'll tell you what, the defense did everything they could here. Give credit to the quarterback for putting this ball where it had to be for his receiver to catch it. Great job. From the 33-yard line, it's first down. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. That brings up second and nine. They get with a runner. He brought down in the backfield. Third 
Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. From the 17 yard line, it's second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. It's the ninth play of the drive. Five and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. They'll bring him down around the three yard line. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Diving for extra yardage. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. That makes it so it's third and goal from the two, and they're trying to make this a two-possession ball game. Play action. Quick strike, tight end, and that's a touchdown. converts the extra point. It was a 12-play, 81-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Well, the blocking up front was just amazing. I think that's what led them to those big runs. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. They'll work the left. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Slings it. Brought down around the 41-yard line. Complete. He's got room. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. From the 28-yard line, first down. He gets sacked on the play. That'll make 
at second and nine. Come up with a sack. That's a sack. Third down now, and they need to get it to the eighteen. Got it on the quick throw. And down he goes around the 39-yard line. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. little pooch kick right there that's why they made the decision to punt the ball right there they wanted to pin this offense deep in their own territory this team really trusts their defense and we see this offense again after what you Kirk called a very physical touchdown drive well, I say that Brad because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game and it helped them get the score let's see if they can do it again so at the end of the half, the Panthers lead 14-0. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The first half pretty much devoid of big offensive plays. It's not really what we expected to see with these two teams, both capable of getting yards and chunks of scoring very quickly. So when you have playmakers who are bottled up for an entire half, what's the frustration level like for them? Oh, it starts to get high. And as a defense, you love it. You sense it. You, it, it, you feed off of it because well, you, think about it. You got running backs that are used to making one guy miss, two guys miss, take it to the house. Well, now you're making one guy miss, two guys miss, and you're like, wait, a third guy's coming in? I mean, they're tackling so well. You're used to receivers being able to go up over DBs and make big plays, and you got DBs hanging with you and, and batting the ball down. And so it's just, it puts you in a situation where you're like, wait, this isn't supposed to happen. A little bit of doubt creeps in because usually you're just going up and down the field, nobody's stopping you. And you, so in your mind, you think, I'm invincible. I'm not, I'm not capable of being stopped. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Takes the ball inside. Can't wrap him up. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 24-yard line. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 24. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that sack. Hit 
as he threw, and he completes it. He's taken down at about the 39-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. Feeds it to the back. And he tackles him hard at the 35. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play. And I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end or a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. The Panthers running back taken out earlier. Sideline with that injury. However, it looks like he's going to be able to come back in this game. And they make the stop around the 44-yard line. That's a deep Third down again. And he's hit immediately. Hey, it's a, it's a first down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. The coaches and the players on the sideline are fired up, and hey, it's a new set of downs. for a loss. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. That brings up second and 13. So it's second and 13. Ball on their own 48. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. He throws. And he's got his receiver. It's the sophomore. And he's tackled at the 10. That's the third time they've converted on third down on this drive. When you can stay on the field in these kind of situations, you're doing something right. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Gets to about the eight-yard line. This is the 11th play of this drive. So again, a third down as the offense lines up. Tackle made just outside the goal line. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. We're about set to start things up again. And he's taken down around the 24-yard line. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Tackle at the 38. 
eight. yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And they got him for a loss. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. And down he goes to the 19-yard line. last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy, or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game? Pitches back, and they get nice yardage on that run. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. And they push him out at the 35-yard line. So with one quarter remaining, the Panthers lead 14-7. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Pushed out of bounds at the 38-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 38. On the run. Nice run there as they work the outside. Seven yards. That makes it second and two. Give to the tailback. He makes it out to maybe the 29 yard line. That's good for gain of two yards. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. This is the eighth play of this drive. Gains his way to the seven yard line. That makes it first and goal. Well, this is it. They've got all four downs to get in the end zone. Gonna run this one in. Touchdown. He 
Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. Gets it. He's in space. It's complete for about seven yards and a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can ask for much more than that. Less than three minutes in the game. Pressure and brought down. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Brought down at the 40. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. Over the middle to his tailback. These tackles around the 41 yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. They come out on an empty backfield. Find his receiver, and that's a first down. He's still going, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 18. the eighth play of the series. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. You keep gaining negative yards and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. From the 21-yard line, it's second down. Goes quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. and goal fourth quarter all tied up what's it gonna be this defense not wanting to give an inch here quick throw out to the receiver incomplete 
play 13 of the current drive. That brings him second. Five yard line. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. That makes it third and goal. It's third and goal from the five. Let's see if they can put this one in. Fired quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. the PAT. A 13 play 75 yard drive and they get it in for seven. Brett I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. They line up to kick this one away. And he's tackled at the 28. The Panthers have sort of set up the defense with this wide receiver doing most of the damage. Do they go away from him or do they do something different? I think one of two things here for this offense. You either find a way to get your star receiver the football, or in some cases you want to use him as a decoy, maybe take two or three defenders with him, and then open it up for somebody else to be able to make a play. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, gave a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Under a minute left. Got a man. Watch out here. Out of bounds at the 33. Third and five. Ball on the 33. go with the run and he's taken down behind the line they attempted to pick up the first by running it and they failed yeah, and the defensive line won that battle easily and if they don't get this one you can start to warm up the bus going long so the play of the day fourth and ball game and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. The Panthers using their third and last timeout. They'll go down to one knee. Panthers, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. Next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.